guys, it's Meredith Ford again, and I'm gonna show you how to make apple fritters today for all your fall fun. Enjoy. So to the mixing bowl, I've added my reduced cider, one quarter cup, I'm adding my milk, I'm going to add butter, shortening, spices, salt, the brown sugar, and then I'm going to add the yeast that's been heated in the cider. Once you've added your foamed yeast and apple cider, all your ingredients are in your bowl, and you're going to mix it until it becomes relatively smooth. Now you're gonna take about half the flour that you're using for your fritters, and you're going to add it to the bowl as it's mixing. You're gonna to continue to mix until it becomes sort of sticky and smooth. Once your mixture is ready and nice and smooth, make sure you have a buttered dish, a buttered bowl, and you can turn your dough out into the buttered bowl. Cover it with a loose towel and let it rise in a semi-warm place for one hour until it's about doubled in size. While your dough is rising, it's the perfect time for you to be able to prepare the apple filling in your dough. You're gonna add your butter and your sugar. I always put a little vanilla and I'm putting a little cinnamon in. I'm gonna chop my apples, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Once you have all of your ingredients in your skillet, we're gonna to move to the stove and we're gonna heat it for just a few minutes until the butter starts to melt and then we'll add our apples. Now our dough is risen, it's doubled inside. I'm gonna punch it down and I'm gonna roll it out just gonna place a little flour down on the surface. Remember this dough is pretty sticky. And before I start to roll the dough out, I want my dough to be in a rectangular shape. Once I get it into a reasonable size, I'm gonna roll it out to about one half of an inch in thickness. Now we're gonna take half the apples and we're gonna spread them on half of our dough. Try to spread the apples evenly so you don't have pockets but really, the more craggly your fritters are, the better. We're gonna take half that dough and fold it over. I'm gonna pinch the dough down. And as you can see, I have another rectangle. I'm gonna very gently pull the dough out and repeat this step with the remaining apples. Then I'm gonna take my bench scraper and I'm gonna cut this dough into one by one inch squares. Now I'm gonna form my fritters. So I'm gonna take three pieces of these one by one inch squares and I'm gonna press them into patties. Turn them under each other so that they stay together. You're gonna to take these fritters and you're gonna put them on a baking sheet and cover them and allow them to rise again a second time for about 30 minutes. We want our oil to be between 360 and 375 degrees. I'm basically adding my fritters four at a time to my heated oil. Let's fry for about one and a half, maybe two minutes per side until they're golden brown. And then you're just gonna take your slotted spoon and turn them. Once your fritters are golden brown on both sides, they'll be bobbing like little apples in the top of your oil. Take the fritters out and let them rest on your absorbent surface. To make the glaze, you're simply gonna add confectioner sugar in a bowl, and then you're going to add that remaining reduced cider that was left from the original recipe. And I'm just gonna take a whisk now, and I'm just gonna whisk it together until there are no lumps at all. Once your fritters are slightly cool, you don't wanna glaze them when they're super, super hot because it will melt the glaze. Glaze them and eat up.